Okay, so let's deploy this thing. So we're here um, in the um, Enterprise Manager. We logged in. We're at the SOA, SOA Infra. So if we right-click on default, we can do deployment. Deploy to this partition. We're going to browse to the file. Hit next. And then deploy as default revision. Deploy. Okay, this is going to take a second or two or three or four or five or six. All right, it's deployed. So now you can uh, go ahead and actually try out the demo. So for that, uh, let me see, I'll bring up um, this guy. Okay, so in my VM, I already have about 3,000 users and two, uh, two other users that I use for managers. One is me and another one is an old friend of mine. So, uh, see if we can see this in here I can spell it So we have these two people as described in the doc. So, and 831 is his manager. So Clark Brown, his manager is this guy. So what we do is we'll make Brad Chase everybody's manager, okay, except for, uh, you know, him. And then this way, no matter who you make a request for or who logs in to make the request, you know, that person will be the manager so you can test well, you have 3,000 attempts to test it. So you can make those changes right in the database with some SQL. So you would just update all the users whose user key is greater than four so as not to touch any of the Oracle ones. So like, for example, let's do this. Okay, so, so we don't want to touch any of these guys. So starting here, we can make me his manager and then just change all the ones that are null. And then have to go back in and fix the Espinoza guy so he uh, has null. So you have to null him out. Or you can just say not in. All right. So that's how you would set it up. And that's how you'd be able to test. The first couple guys are already there, as you can see, with the manager set up as just enough to run one test with the one guy here. So, okay. Um, and that's it.